Welcome back, folks. Today, we are going to hook up the three other towns down here in uh, on the Iberian Peninsula. So we're going to hook up Lisbon, Seville, and Madrid to Barcelona with passengers. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to stick in the stations together. And then I'll just uh, do the the tracks off camera because it, it takes a while to do those. So let's jump right in and get a train station into Madrid. Now I was talking about doing the really cool tra train station for Madrid, but I've changed my mind. Uh, so we are going to do it elsewhere though. Uh, like uh, Paris is going to have it. We're going to change Paris's uh, train network uh, quite a bit, I think. But for now, let's take a look here. And I actually think I want an underground station in uh, Madrid. Uh, this is curved. Okay. Well, I don't necessarily want it curved. So where is not curved? Uh, somewhere like there might be a little bit curved but what the heck that looks a little bit curved to me minus 50 that looks maybe straight there isn't zero so I, I don't really know how that works uh, we are going to take the platform lengths up not to that much uh, 320 would be ideal is that what that's what we generally use actually uh, this is only 240 so we might as well do it 240 240 no uh, slope no track numbers uh, we just need two tracks and the track type uh, standard tracks uh, actually, we want high speed tracks. Let's do high speed tracks. Electrified, yes. And a platform on the left, platform on the right. Force to use. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. Well, it's going in right here in the center of town and it's going in right here, I think. So let's do that and let's create a uh, street connection to it. And I can't do that there, which is incredibly annoying. Why do I have a collision there? Let's remove these buildings and see. Uh, not that, that. that works like that okay so we have our underground station there then we want Seville down here and I want a curved station here think yeah uh, this is actually fine and do we want to have a bridge what's the length 240 
that's okay, I guess. And we'll have it something like this. So I think we need to just take out a bit of town here. Sorry, town. <laughs> Okay. Uh, do we really want a bridge? I don't necessarily think so. I think I want something like that. I think something like that will work. Let's do that. And then up here, I just want a terminus. 240 meters, one track. And it can come down like that. Okay. And this has two, right? Yeah. Good. Move it up to there. Okay. So that's our uh, train station is in. So let me get the rails in real quick and I'll be back. Right. We have built our stations down here. I just want to see, did something happen to the audio? I feel like something happened to the audio. Something definitely happened to the audio because we should be able to hear you, shouldn't we? Chugging along. Yeah, let me just fix that real quick and I'll be back. Okay, much better. We have audio again. So, what did I do in uh, in the pause here, or in the cut? Well, Barcelona is now coming down with a new line. I haven't set up the line yet. Coming into an underground station here in, uh, in Madrid. We have the entries to the underground station and we have a bus terminal there. And then it proceeds down to Seville, where we have this curved station, and we have uh, a bus stop up here, and then it curves back out and up to Lisbon. So the all four towns on the Iberian Peninsula are connected, which is great. So uh, we need to set up some lines, um, and I want to just let the game run. So uh, we want to set up a new line going from Barcelona to Madrid, to Seville, to Lisbon, back to Seville, back to Madrid, and back to Barcelona. And this is going to be the Iberian Express. Okay, and I forgot to turn off the lag icons again. All right, and I think it looks pretty good, this uh, rail. It's kind of windy, uh, but that's okay. Uh, there are a few bridges, a few tunnels. There's a, like, there's a tunnel here through the mountains down here. There's of course a tunnel going into the underground station, a little tunnel here through the mountains, and then a few bridges coming into Barcelona, which I think is all good. And we are going to set up more new lines. Uh, because we have in here, I didn't actually put a uh, bus station in here. I decided to just go with something like that. And this is going to be Lisbon Circle. And we're just going to have one circle here because the town is kind of small. Uh, let's make you a different color just for good measure. So it's not the same one as the train line. Then we have a new line here. 
going from here to here to here to here to here and back again why couldn't you connect all stations oh this is not actually crossable i see okay well that's a problem uh, all right let's uh, delete you and what we'll do instead we won't have a um So upper soil can go away. Let's just redo all of them. We won't actually have a um, bus. Uh, station in here either, apparently. Uh, I th oh, I forgot one. That's why after uh, High Street, we want you Church Road. There we go. And we will call you Seville Circle. And we'll add another new line going the other way because this is, I think, is big enough of a city to do that. It looks bigger than Lisbon anyway. Uh, Seville Circle 1. All right, so we have that in. Then we have in Madrid another new line which is going to go from here to, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, to there, and back again. And that will be Madrid Circle. And another new line going the other way around. And that will be Madrid Circle 1. Okay. Good, good. And that's all the new lines set up. So now we need vehicles on them. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to get them from down here. Because all of... Well, we have a warning here. Madrid and Barcelona are not, no longer connected. And that is because I cut out some road here but we can easily fix that by simply putting in a bit of road here i want it to be a curvy one um no it's probably not no it did curve a bit and that should remove the warning yeah fantastic all right and i think we're just going to get all the road vehicles uh, from up here they can go to whichever town they need to go to. So, oh, that's a tram depot. Uh, well, oh, we got another new plane, new trains, fantastic. The Flying Scotsman, that's cool. Uh, all right, let's put the road depot down here. Uh, road depot. Let's put it over here. Like that. And then we actually need a train depot as well. Um, I think we'll simply put that here. Like that. Tracks. Catenaries, yes. And... We'll just put you in like that and that'll work just fine okay let's get some vehicles uh passenger we have the daimler deck seat car now which i think we'll put into madrid so we'll get do we need... Uh, we just need one on each, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. D, 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 D. I don't think that's a number. Well, I, I suppose it is in Ro Roman numerals, but in the, in my world, it's not. Uh, so Madrid Circle. 
was that color, I think. Uh, Madrid, way down there. And then we'll buy another one and make... I think it was that color. Uh, Madrid circle one, no, it really wasn't. Uh, no, 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 it's this one, I think. I think. <laughs> Help me out here, guys. Am I right? All right, so that's that. And then for Lisbon, we'll go with the Schneider. Uh, we'll just buy one for that. And Lisbon... Did I not name that? Oh, there it is, yellow. Uh, oh yeah, I made that yellow, that's right. Uh, Lisbon Circle. Oh, there it is. Boom. And then for Seville, uh, we'll get the Schneider as well, I think. And Seville is green and something. I uh, think maybe it's that one. I don't know. Uh, Seville Circle. And buy another one. And it was, I think, this color. And we'll put you on Seville Circle 1. All right, that's all our road vehicles bought. They're going where they need to go. Is it really faster for the Seville ones to go that way? I would have expected them to go this way, but ah, but there's no road connection. Fair enough. Makes sense. Well, there is going down that way. I would have thought that would have faster, but fair enough. All right. Then, we need to buy some trains. Uh, I really don't think our steam trains are powerful enough yet. Flying Scotsman is not really meant to be flying in Spain, I guess, but... Man, it's powerful. I like it. The Prussian just seems way too big. Look at the size of that thing. And it doesn't go very fast. It has okay power and tractive effort, but... Nah. You know what? We'll, we'll go with the Flying Scotsman, I think. Uh, so 120 is our limit. So... I definitely prefer the Donnerbuchse, I think. Let's put a capacity of 85 on there. We'll buy that, and we'll put it on. Uh, I don't want to color this one. Uh, the Iberian Express. And I think we need two of those, but we'll clone this one once uh, it's gotten a bit further away. So that's everything down here hooked up. Which is fantastic. We've got that train up to around Barcelona before we... Before we do anything. We don't have any passengers here yet, but that's to be expected. That's to be expected. Okay. Now, uh, I want to get 
a bit of cargo going here. And I'm not entirely sure how I want to do that. Uh, so I want to make food down here. And I want to make tools down here, I think. Uh, because Lisbon wants tools. Seville wants food. Uh, Barcelona wants food. And I think I want to get a cargo train going as well through all the towns, but not connected to the passenger stations. I want it to be a separate station. I'm kind of, th kind of thinking I want the Lisbon uh, cargo to be out here, just because then we can potentially hook it up to a harbor. Seville will probably go... Uh, I'm not really sure about Seville. Uh, Madrid will definitely go out on this side. And then into Barcelona, which I think I'll put on this side of the river. Uh, to be able to put a harbor in there somehow. That's my plan anyway. We actually have a bit of town over on this side of the river, which is nice. Um, what if we... Ooh, we have, uh... We have upgraded streets, which is nice. New streets! Uh, so I think I want a medium street crossing over here. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much I like it doing that though. Well, well, can we delete that little bit there? And then have it coming across? Not like that. Not like that. No, no. Uh, let's try this instead. That's better. And I think we'll do a thin pillar. Let's try it. That looks kind of okay to me. And we have that road across. Now that potentially does make it difficult to get a train station in there <laughs> because the harbor I'm thinking uh, I want it to be a cargo harbor with two terminals and the harbor can be in here and then hopefully we can get the train station in there somewhere and this is navigable waters right yeah 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 it's very steep Uh, let's take a look at the train station. It's going to be a terminus, and it's going to be 320 meters long. And it can actually go under the bridge, which I think is perfect. Okay. So this is workable. Fantastic. All right, we actually have passengers in Lisbon. Wow, 54 passengers for a town this size? That's quite a lot. No one in Seville. No one in Madrid. I mean, it is connected up. Yeah, it is connected up. So I guess we just need to need passengers to arrive. Where is our train now? Oh, it's over here again. Okay. Seville, can we have some passengers? That would be kind of nice. There isn't even a passenger for the... 
the bus route, which has arrived. Oh, there are passengers for the bus routes. Okay. I think we're going to need three trains on this, but for now, we'll just wait until this one gets up past Madrid and then we'll get a second one. And then I think we'll take a ride on the train. We still don't have any train passengers in Madrid, which is annoying. Uh, can we configure this? And yeah. It just looks kind of weird to me that we can see down into the station. I, I wish it wouldn't do that. The train is there. So you know what? Let's just clone it once it gets out of there. Uh, clone you. And I think that'll be fine for now. At least. All right, let's take a ride on this bad boy. Let's take a look at it. That's a good looking train, the Flying Scotsman. Flying Highlander, it says. I like this train. Very nice. All right, we're coming in to Lisbon and we do have passengers here. We do have passengers here. Quite a lot coming in, actually, which is great. I do want to take just a quick look more at this train. As I do think it looks very good. Very, very good. Very nice. All right, let's take a ride on this train. All right. There's the depot going in to the tunnel through the mountain here. And, oh, I use the old signals. It's fine, though. I like the other ones better, though. I don't think there was anyone waiting here. A couple of people got off. Okay, you can go again. And on through. So will we go? I like the more modern ones better, but those work. All right. Wow, that is some hill those cars are going up. I didn't put that in there. Okay. Oh, here comes our sister train. And hey, we have a passenger. It looks a bit weird up there that you can see through. Or is it, let's just say that it's uh, artwork. It's artwork. 3D artwork. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. We've gotten through Madrid. And taking a ride through the Spanish countryside here. Or mountains, that whatever way you want to look at it. Oh, there over there is Barcelona. Looking good, Barcelona. And ooh, I like this. I really, really do. Wow, that is a windy road right there. Over the bridges and into the elevated train stations where we do have some passengers waiting. Not a whole lot, but some. Some. Six. Yeah, not a whole lot. But I do like it. I do like it. And I think it's going to be good in the long run. So yeah, that is our passengers set up here. 
And I think in the next one, we'll get some of that cargo set up down here on the Iberian Peninsula so that they're not starved for goods and everyone wants to go up to Paris and... Well, not Paris, really. They want to go through Paris and on to other places to get their stuff. London has a lot of passengers. Liverpool, yeah, not that many. None in Glasgow, but, but that's because the train was just there. It actually picked up 36, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. And let's take a look at our line economics and see how our lines are doing. So, of course, the Iberian Express is not making money. Uh, the Liverpool Manchester coal to steel is really not getting any coal, which is annoying. Uh, Amsterdam Berlin Express is not making money right now, but it will be Barcelona tram, the new the new routes basically uh, are not making money. But other than that, everything else is making money. And our Norway iron ore to UK steel is doing really well. 4.4 million as well as the crude oil to plastic. So yeah, we are making money, guys. We are making money. How much food is sitting here? 20? That's not enough. We need more food. We need more food sitting here. Oh, new tram. New electric tram. Cool, cool. How much did it get? I got 31, so it's not completely bad. And down here, this has even out to a reasonable amount. This is getting up there again. But I think we'll be able to deal with it. Where is our... Uh, where is our... Oh, it just picked up. Okay. So you just picked up a full load there. And there's a little bit sitting left. So that's fine. That is fine. And are we seeing a decent amount delivered? Yeah, kind of. 104. What about over here? These are getting filled up again. Jesus. All right, so we need definitely need more trucks on those routes. We are seeing a lot of trucks coming over here. That is insane. You heard the quacking. I apologize. That was my phone ringing. Don't know who it is. Unknown number. So I'm not going to bother picking up. I think we're doing good. I think we're doing really, really good. Yeah. This is wonderful. But we are out of time. Uh, I just want to see our ferry here is actually making a little bit of money. And we have some people sitting here waiting. Uh, one person here. Are there more coming in, maybe? Yeah, there are. Look at that. Look at that. Quite a lot more, actually. That's great. Going food shopping over in Dublin, I guess. Very, very cool. And as I said, we will be completely redoing uh, Paris' uh, train network, I think. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big rebuild. So that will probably be an episode of its own. Because it's going to be a really big rebuild uh, that we do for Paris here. I am fairly certain. But one that I think you'll like. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you 
next time.